next year in New England and the next year in New England because it's just too good to be true. And Robert Kraft loves Tom Brady far more than he loves Bill Belichick. I'm sorry. Uh, but he, he will always side but he with Tom but Brady. But he, lo but he loves winning, mm -hmm. and he knows Coach Belichick is the main reason why he continues to do he that. Does not he realized that. that he, he spent, the, it's, he it's spent the, $140, dollars $150 million buying the, uh, uh, the Patriots, mm -hmm. and they're worth like three points. Five, right. three point six so billion. He believes so strongly in Bill Belichick. Why did he say, Bill, I'm sorry you're wrong about Jimmy G. Trade him. Why did he say that? Hey, the first was that, he right? It was a yes. first skip. It was a first it's a first and last time. I mean, mm -hmm. Jenny, you don't win all the arguments, do you? Sometimes you let sometimes she let Matt win to make him mm -hmm. feel good. Mm -hmm. Mr. Coach Belichick had to get his hand slapped because mm -hmm. Coach uh, uh, Mr. Kraft was like, Bill, you Billy. Called him Billy. Billy, you winning all these things. Mm. I'm gonna stand pat on this one, mm. but the next time I'm gonna let you have your way. Okay. So let's do the hypothetical that will never happen, which is <laughs> where would Tom Brady go next year? Yeah. If in fact, I, I don't know if they would try to trade him, they would probably do him the service, do him the justice of just, just saying him, you, him you, you him just home. go pick like Peyton right. was able to just right. go free agent. Right. Where do you want to go, Peyton? I think I'll go to Denver. Right. And magic happens. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, Skip, the thing is, look, he, he, we all know, just like Peyton had his choices. Okay, you know, Tennessee was interested, the Broncos, Arizona, San Francisco. Tom Brady's going to have somewhere between six and ten teams. Uh, unless they have a true established starter, uh, one of these top, let's see, top ten guys, he's not going to go there. But there will be some situations that teams will be willing to, even if they sign the guy, that they'll be willing to get off for Tom Brady because at the end of the day, he is Tom Brady. And the Broncos signed Peyton, and Peyton was coming off that next surgery skip. He could barely throw the ball ten yards. Yep. And the Bronx, we know Tom Brady can throw the ball further than 10 yards. Just saying, Skip. Okay, and I'm just saying Denver is high oh, on the yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denver would be high on that list. Can you imagine? Yeah, do you think Joe Flacco, do you think they're wedded to Joe mm. Flacco till death do they? No. Pass? Nope. No, sorry, sorry. no, as a matter of fact, they eloped. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not even official yet. Not it's official? Correct. Yeah. And a couple of years ago, Tom Brady was reportedly interested in going back to his home area yes, because he grew up a 49er fan. Mm -hmm. sure. And now they have his backup quarterback who is about to be his next quarterback, right? <laughs> and Ooh. I don't know if, if Jimmy Garoppolo continues to play the way he Ooh. played in the last preseason Monday night. game. I don't know. But yeah. they owe him way too much money. I'm going to say that's not going to happen, mm. even though the 49ers appear to me to be a team on the verge where, where he might get there right just the right time. I mean, there is a real possibility, Skip. Okay. And, you know, we give him, we give him a lot of control, a lot of say what you need. Okay, and here I'll throw one more curveball at hmm. you. Tom Brady also loves him some Southern California because he and Giselle have owned a home here near where LeBron lives in Brentwood. And there's another team in L.A. not named the Rams. It's called the Chargers, coached by a good friend of yours. Hello. And uh, I, I'm just going to say, what if Phillip Rivers comes up short yet again this year? Do you can't... realize he's destined to be a free agent after this year. So is it possible they would cut bait with Phillip Rivers and say, oh, yes, we would love Tom Brady to take over our team on the verge because that is a loaded football team. They, they are. Yep. They are. They, gotta get, they need to get Melvin Gordon back. I like him in the blue and orange better. Do you? He can do what old, uh -huh. what old Peyton does. So all of a sudden you would be dra driving the Tom Brady bandwagon in blue and orange, correct? Ooh, like we'd that? we be in the money. So... Here's where I'm with you. I believe Bill Belichick would love for this to be Tom Brady's <laughs> last year. And I am already suspicious of the way Tom, uh, that Bill Belichick is handling Tom Brady's preseason snaps. And I can't wait for tonight to see exactly <laughs> if and how long Tom Brady plays. Because I told you a year ago <laughs> in game two, he played 39 snaps and threw 26 passes. Right. That was game two of the preseason. Right. This game, too, suddenly, shockingly, he played zero. Right. Why was that? He wanted to play, but Coach Bilchak said no. no. Mm. So now we get to the quote-unquote dress rehearsal game three, and will he be allowed to play? Or is it possible that Belichick will some mysteriously say, some way say, right. I no. don't know, I don't want to play him this year. Yeah, it might be a situation, Jenny, you can attest to this. Mm. Have you ever been in a situation, Jenny, you're like, you okay, you kind of like it, but you like, I kind of wish he'd break up with me. But you don't want to be the bad guy. Uh -huh. It's like that with Coach, I believe with Coach Belichick. Like he Coach, sabotaged right. the situation. Coach yeah. Belichick wants to move on, right. but he really would wish Tom would just break up and say, you know what, guys, I just want to. So it, it would, keeps would him Coach from being Belichick the bad guy. 
love to feature Jared Stidham in the dress rehearsal game three? Yes, right. he would, yeah. just so he could make the case to Mr. Kraft, do you see what I found right. again? Yeah. I got my new Jimmy G. And, and right? I think the thing is what Coach Belichick looks at, Skip, because the backup quarterback takes all the scout team's reps. And a lot of times, Coach, Belichick's might throw a little, Coach Belichick might throw a little wrinkle in there. He says, like, look, this guy sees, my, sees some of my, especially in training camp, sees my defenses all the time. Yep. And I'm the great defensive mind in, in NFL right now and maybe ever. Yep. If he can handle what I can throw at him, yep. I know if I put him in this system and I'm and I need him to play and play well, mm -hmm. after what I've thrown at him, there's no question in my mind he can stand up to the pressure. Mm -hmm. See, Coach Belichick, he, look, coach, they're always coaching, they're always observing. Mm -hmm. And they know, Coach Belichick really knows who can do what, when, and how. So I think a lot of that's, that's at play here. Skip, there is something, because Jimmy Garoppolo was not playing in a lot of games. There's something that led Coach Belichick to believe that he could move on from Tom Brady and would not miss a beat with Jimmy Garoppolo, considering that Jimmy had never gotten in the game. Mm -hmm. And that's not by accident, because Tom Brady does not... Quarterbacks, good quarterbacks, they don't want you ever looking at another quarterback in a game situation and get, have you getting any bright ideas that you can move on without me. That is correct. I'm going to say it one more time about Jared Stidham. I watched a lot of him at Baylor first and then much more at Auburn. Mm -hmm. And he is athletic. Yeah. He can run. We've seen him run in this preseason. Right. He can take off and he can motor. Yes. Got a nice arm, got nice stature about him, but under fire at Auburn in some of their biggest games, his poise under fire left something to be desired. Mm. That's just me. Well, Skip, you know Baylor, you know they throw the ball around. So he had a lot of experience he throwing did. the ball around in, in Baylor at open set. He's a Texas kid. Yes. Yep. And okay. most tech, they, they throw the ball like, now. Does he have potential? Yes. Could I see Belichick falling in love, being enamored of him? I can. Tom Brady, in his weekly WEEI appearance, was asked the other day, do you want to play in preseason game number three? And he said, boy, I hope I play. Again, we had practice yesterday. We practice again today. And then we'll see what coach decides. I hope to be out there. We'll see what happens. Again, he always defers to whatever coach says mm -hmm. I have to do because Tom has always been coachable. Yeah. But to me... We will see. I can't wait for kickoff tonight to see how long Tom lasts, if he gets to play right. at all. And if he doesn't get to play, you're going to hear sabotage from me. Well, that was the thing, Skip, because it's, Coach Belichick normally does what someone, he does the opposite. Yep. So if Tom yeah. said, well, you know, I don't really care, you know, I've been done, yada, yada, he's going to play him. So yep. Tom, Tom is like, you know, hey, it's, I'm going to leave it up to him, mm -hmm. hoping Coach Belichick's like, ah, oh, Tom wants to sit down. He's going to play. Mm. Look. Coach Belichick, when you have those kind of credentials, Skip, very little that you do gets questioned. Mm. Huh. That's why we didn't get the whole... You did, but there were not a lot of people that really questioned the move that, that Coach Belichick made in the Super Bowl, benching Malcolm Butler, because so many of his other moves have worked out so well. And when you get six Super Bowls and nine appearances, you, 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 you build up a little, you know, mm. a good service, and then people are like, okay, mm. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. A bunch of Patriots questioned that move right after that game. Yes, Tom Brady did. appeared to question that move via Instagram. Tom, go do that. Yeah. Uh, nice to know, Jenny, you sabotaged a couple of your relationships along the way. Well, yeah, their relationship fascinates me. Mm. How many people do you know that have this kind of relationship that is this successful? It just, it, it's an interesting dynamic. Sabotage. It is the most fascinating story in sports, and it starts tonight to me. Starts tonight. Sabotage. Right, we are moving on from the goat <laughs> to the rookie. Are you saying that's me? Uh, should Kyler Murray be worried about his new offense? We'll discuss all of that next. Don't forget, you Worry. can check us out every day on the Fox Sports Channel on SiriusXM. We'll be right back. Very good.